Hello, Salesforce enthusiasts, and welcome to another edition of How To Thursdays. Have you ever wanted to download all the files from your Salesforce instance, whether they'd be Word documents, PDF, uh, image files, and not been able to do so? Uh, Salesforce's native data export function does not enable you to do that, unfortunately, and uh, Data Loader uh, doesn't either. So what we'll learn through this how-to is a little trick to be able to uh, be able to create these URLs and then feed them uh, to a Chrome extension and it will download all your files. It's really easy to do. Uh, follow along. I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. Before we start though, if you could please, we're trying to grow the channel to 500 subscribers. So do me a favor while you're watching, uh, click the link below to uh, subscribe to the channel, um, that would really help out. Let's uh, get to 500. And at the end of the video, if you got something out of it, please go ahead and like it. Um, that will also help the, uh, the algorithm. So without further ado, let's do this. Let's log into my instance here. And what we'll want to do is, uh, just to show you what we'll be extracting, I'm going to view all here on all my Salesforce applications and I'm going to go to files and I've loaded a bunch of sample files here just for this example. You'll see I've got uh, 31 items. Uh, most of your instances, at least the instances I work with, are heavy with files uh, with, you know, 500 files or so. There's no easy way to download them. so. Follow along and I'll show you how in one quick go we can actually extract all the files. Something that uh, Salesforce data export won't do. So what you want to do is launch Data Loader. I'll include a link in the description for you to install Data Loader. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, there's a quick video on how to do that. Once you install it, it'll create a little shortcut icon on your desktop, whether you're using a Mac or Windows and we want to choose export from here. We'll get prompted to uh, log in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the defaults and click on log in and log in to data loader. All right, logging in. Uh, it'll ask you for access, you just click allow here and login is successful. Once you get this login successful message, go ahead and click on next. And what we want to do is over here, uh, make sure you select show all Salesforce objects and look for one call that starts with content. And the one we want is content document. Uh, this one here, not the feed one, just content document. And if you want, you can rename the CSV export file. Click on next. Once you're here, uh, you'll want to select all fields and click on finish. And then when it asks you to proceed, go ahead and click on yes. And you'll see 31 successful extractions. Sure enough, I had 31 files, so this makes sense. Now what we want to do is access the CSV file that was just extracted. So I'm going to search for it. Here it is. Double click. It'll pop up in Excel in a second. And here's the content of our file. Uh, it may not mean much, but uh, essentially what we're interested in here is the value in column R. And this is essentially the ID of the each files that are in this demo instance. So the next step, what we want to do is create URLs to be able to um, go and fetch each one of these files. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and right click here and click on insert to insert a blank column. And I'm going to use the concat function in Excel to concatenate or append 
this version ID uh, or this object ID at the end of the URL of my Salesforce uh, demo instance. So go in here, type in equal and use concatenate. And then over here, we want to uh, concatenate the URL, which, which we'll get in a second with this value here which is R2 in this case. So right now we're just going to get URL. So if we put quotes in here, you'll see URL and then the ID uh, of that file. So next what we need to do is go and get the beginning part of your instances URL up to the first forward slash, including it. So go ahead and copy this value. Let's go back to our formula and paste this in here. Now, we need to add a couple things to the URL. Uh, so just follow along and again, look at the comments and, and notes below. You'll be able to get this, uh, spe these specific values we need to add. So the URL, you wanna add SFC forward slash servlet dot shepherd forward slash version forward slash download forward slash and then the ID of the object we want to download. So once we have this here, uh, go ahead and type in enter and you'll see it forms IDs basically Um, with the object ID at the end. Now in Excel, what we do is we grab um, the bottom right corner of our, of our cell and we drag it down. This will copy the formula all the way down. Uh, so you do that for all the objects you have in here. And if you were to run one of these in your uh, Chrome or Safari or Explorer window, you would see that it would actually download uh, this PNG file. Uh, so now we have our URLs that point to every single file in our Salesforce instance. What, how do we go ahead and feed all of these together uh, in order for the downloads to process? So what we'll do here is go back to Chrome and there's a Chrome extension called Tab Save. Um, so if you wanna to go to Manage Extension uh, and search extensions and go and install uh, tab save. This will um, set it up. Once you have tab saved installed, what you want to do is go back to uh, your column where you formed your URLs and select all of them uh, and edit copy or command C or alt C on Windows. Go ahead and click on tab save and this little pencil icon and paste the values in here. And then click on the, once we click on this cloud, watch what happens on the bottom of the Chrome screen. And here we go. All my files are being downloaded. And that's it. Now we have all files in my download folder. So if I actually navigate to my download folder, I could see that all my files have been downloaded um, from my Salesforce instance. And these are all the files that I had in there. I've got some trailhead PNG files, some PDFs, uh, a JPEG file. So there you have it. Um, quick and easy way to get access to all your files. Uh, I looked through the internet to try and figure out how to do this. Um, we know that the Salesforce native data export does not export the files. So this is to me the next best thing to, uh, to get access to all the files to, uh, to back them up. So that's it, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please again, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 uh, subscribers to make this content available to more users. Like the content if it's, uh, if it's useful. Again, that helps the algorithms. 
And uh, yeah, hope to see you in some Thursday in the near future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.